Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Aries their monthly love read. And this is for January 2022. Um, I watched something and someone said, we're not going to say 2022 because that sounds like the year 2020 the second time around. And who wants that? So we're going to say January 2022. Um, we are going to do past, present, and future energies. Um, we are going to get a destined love oracle card, a romance angel oracle card, um, some divine love messages from White Rose Guidance, volume two, and then we're going to finish off the read with a spirit junkie card, okay? So past, present, and future for my Aries. Um, remember, these are general reads, so please take what resonates with them. I'm sorry, please take what resonates with it and leave the rest. Um, if you feel like this is just not your read at all, then yikes, Aries, then go ahead and check your moon or your rising signs, okay? If you don't know what your moon or your rising signs are, there's a link in the description box below that will, um, oh my gosh, Aries, <laughs> your cards are so sad. Um, oh, that's a good card. I'm sorry. If it doesn't, if, if it doesn't resonate, check your moon and rising there's a link in the description box below if you want to go to a website to find out what your moon and your rising signs are good gravy sorry your cards were totally distracting me oh that's a very nice card um okay oh, or you can go to my personal website too if you are interested in a personal read so all right guys thanks so much for coming to my channel i do appreciate all your support i'm so close to 100 views i would love to get um, I'm sorry, hundred subscribers. I'm, I'm frazzled today already for some reason. I'm so close to a hundred subscribers. I would love to get to a hundred by the end of December. So if you're watching this before January, 2022, please, um, think about subscribing. Okay. All right. So in the past, I feel like, um, oh, good Lord. Hold on. The tower card Aries. I think this tower card is going to be really good for you. Um, normally the tower card is like perceived as a negative thing, but it's not. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this glare off this card, but it's not going to work. Um, it's something unexpected. It's an unexpected upheaval or, you know, a uh, situation that you're not expecting a surprise. It kind of shakes your world upside down, but that's a good thing because um, your past and your present look a little treacherous. So I think you could use some unexpected shifting. Um, so in the past, we have the Three of Cups, which the Three of Cups card can be like a romantic proposal, engagement, like a wedding reception, um, a really solid love connection with friendship as its base. Um, but it can also be a third party. So most of the time I don't get third party vibes, but I'm going to, I do in this one, I'll tell you why. Um, because we have it falling with the five of swords and the three of swords. So the five of swords is like, um, conflict, like someone who's willing to win at all costs, someone feeling defeated. Um, and then the three of swords being heartbreak. So I feel like this three of cups, or it could be like maybe, um, a wedding or I mean a, a marriage, perhaps like a very strong relationship. Um, you became defeated in the situation and heartbroken because of a situation in your marriage or there was a third party situation in a relationship. Um, but either way, in the past, you're definitely feeling defeated and heartbroken. So I'm sorry, Aries. Um, and then currently, um, we have conflict and competition. So the five of wands um, in the present is, you know, lots of conflict and competition. So perhaps this might not be a bad thing to you. You might be happy you have a lot of people competing over you. But it's kind of more like strife and difficulty, right? Uh, conflict, people fighting, people arguing. Uh, but I think that is coming to an end with the Ten of Wands. Because the Ten of Wands, as you can see, he is burdened. He is carrying this load on his back and it becomes too heavy. So um, I think you're letting go of this conflict or competition. And this could definitely be related to your past too, right? Um, maybe it's in your present and you're ready, ready just to put it all down. But I do see you having some sunshine in your life. So the sun card is here. The sun card, this is the most positive card in the deck. It does represent a Leo. So perhaps you have a Leo in your life, but, um, it's about joy, happiness, optimism, happiness, like just carefree. Sometimes it's, could be like a baby. So maybe you're expecting a baby, but I think um, with these three cards 
coming into play for your present situation. I think the conflict is over and ending and, and happiness is definitely coming towards you. Which it really shows down here because um, we have a page of wands. So we have like someone coming in with a love offer right in the future. Um, someone expressing their love. They have lots of passionate feelings about you. Um, it's a fiery romantic kind of like feeling from this person or the situation coming in. I think I see you as the fool taking that leap of faith and, you know, jumping forward and, and going for this love, this passionate offer. And this is communication too with the wands. Um, and if, guess what it's going to result in is the 10 of cups. So I think um, the 10 of cups is like the highest love card is like blended families. Um, Love the Ten of Cups is Cups is love, right? So it's the highest cup card in terms of the number cards. So um, it's uh, family, marriage, soulmates, happiness, blended families together. If you if you already have families, children, I can't talk today. Um, so I do think even though you have this tower moment here, I think it's going to shake everything up. Perhaps with a Leo, with the Sun card here, um, but I think you are going to have. Uh, um, awesome connection. I like it, Aries. I like it. All right, we're going to get a Romance Angel Oracle card from Noreen Virtue. It says you deserve love. You are lovable. And then on the bottom, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. Yeah, I think you've been waiting for a while. I think you're coming out of this heartbreak and stuff. We're going to get a couple of Destined Love Oracle cards. These are probably going to be a little bit shorter videos than the monthlies because I want to, I think I'm going to try to do like a, what's coming at you in the year of 2022, leaving. I'm not going to take all of these, but yes, I think you're leaving the past behind. Intimacy, you're going to definitely have some intimacy with this page of wands and this ten of cups Whoa, oh, and proposal, which I do see coming with this ten of cups. It's in the future. It's not necessarily close, but um, I definitely see that coming your way, guys. All right. We're going to get a couple cards from um, White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Message, Volume 2. You're the one who understands me at such a deep level. Nope. You are my rose. I like it. I like happy endings, Aries. All right, we are going to get a Spirit Junkie card. These are kind of like empowering statements usually, but we'll see for January 2022. These cards don't want to separate, so I guess you're going to get them both. Um, when I lead from a place of love, people respect me. And I send a prayer of love to all beings in need of a miracle. Sorry. I was like, does that say bring or it says being? Um, I send a prayer of love to all beings in need of a miracle. All right, Aries. So, yeah, overall, I think, like, this tower is going to come in and shake up your world, which is a good thing because you're kind of in conflict and sadness. And you're going to have the Ten of Cups proposal and intimacy. Excuse me. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the read. Please like, share comment and subscribe and please 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 subscribe if you feel so inclined to do so um i do appreciate it i'm wishing everyone the best year ahead um until next time guys take care okay thanks bye bye